Hello guys, I'm back with new tricks and strategies for that you become a better problem solver. Let's solve this problem together. A fence eight feet tall runs parallel to a tall building at a distance of four feet from the building. What is the length of the shortest ladder that will reach from the ground over the fence to the wall of the building? Okay, guys, so as usual, let's start with some good labeling. I'm gonna call this base A, okay? I'm gonna call this distance B, okay, B. Here to here, the length of the ladder naturally should be called L, right? And the angle that the ladder forms with the ground, we're gonna call it theta. This angle is gonna be very important, guys, you will see. It will make the solution really, really quick and efficient. All right, so notice, A, 8 over 8 is equal to cotangent, cotangent of theta, right? Therefore, A equal A times cotangent of theta. Good. Similarly, notice B over 8 equal cosecant, cosecant of theta, right? Therefore, B equal A times cosecant of theta. Very good, very good. So now, now notice this small right triangle similar to this big right triangle. So L, hypotenuse of the big triangle divided by B, which is this guy, right? A cosecant of theta, hypotenuse of the small triangle should be equal to, should be equal to what? Well, on the big triangle, I have base A here, plus four, so let's write it, four plus A, but A is just eight cotangent of theta, right? That divided by the base of the, the small triangle, A, but that is eight cotangent of theta, great. Now, if you, work out this relationship by cross multiplying and substituting cosecant with one over sine, cotangent with cosine over sine, you're gonna end up with this L equal, L equal four over cosine of theta plus eight over sine of theta, okay? Which is equivalent to the following, four times secant of theta here plus plus A times cosecant of theta here. All right, so L equal four secant of theta plus A cosecant of theta, great. Next step, we're supposed to take the derivative of L with respect to theta, set it equal to zero and solve for, for theta, right? That is supposed to give us a great candidate to minimize the length of the ladder, right? So let's do that. Derivative of this, should be derivative of four secant is just four secant of theta multiplied by tangent of theta. Derivative of this second term is minus eight cosecant of theta multiplied by cotangent of theta. That together equal to zero, we got to solve for theta. This leads to the following, four secant of theta tangent of theta equal eight cosecant of theta, cotangent of theta, and simplifying again, using the quotient identities, reciprocal identities that we know from trigonometry, you're gonna end up with this tangent cube of theta equal to two, meaning tangent of theta equal cube root of two, theta equal arc tangent, arc tangent of cube root of two. But what is that? Well, that is theta equal 51.56 degrees, right? Serious candidates to minimize the length of this ladder. But now let's think about the endpoints, right? The, the end values of theta. Notice from the figure, theta has to be between zero and 90 degrees, right? Think about this. If you are close to zero, looking at this relationship between the length and theta, then this 
term will be close to one, right? So one into four, four plus sine of theta will be close to zero. So zero into eight, infinity, infinity plus four, infinity. So the value of our function will grow without bound in this direction. Similarly, if we are close to 90 degrees, if theta is close to 90 degrees, look at this, this guy will be close to zero. So zero into four infinity plus this guy will be close to one, one into eight, one, eight plus infinity, infinity. So the value of the function increasing without bound, right? So clearly you can see that in between that minimization must happen, right? And that has to happen at theta equal 51.56 degrees. So now that we know that this guy will minimize our function L, then we can say that L minimum should be equal to four over cosine of 51.56 degrees, right? Plus eight over sine of 51.56 degrees. And when you compute this, you should get 16.65 feet, okay? And this is the length that will minimize this function. So that will be the minimum value of the length of the ladder, right? I hope this video helped you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. More videos coming up. Thank you.